States is not planning to withdraw from its free trade agreement with South Korea, at least for the time being. But it's still pushing for amendments to the 2007 deal, which President Trump is deeply unhappy about. Our Park Juan has the latest on the Korea US FTA. Trade policy news source Inside U.S. Trade reported Wednesday that the White House has informed key lawmakers, including House Speaker Paul Ryan, they will put aside its plan to withdraw from the free trade deal between South Korea and the U.S., quoting unnamed sources. The paper also reported that since the possibility of withdrawing from the free trade agreement with South Korea was brought up, several U.S. business leaders, lawmakers and national security experts have defended the South Korea-U.S. deal, pointing out its geopolitical and economic benefits to the U.S. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, as well as a group of bipartisan congressional leaders, announced Tuesday that it opposes in the strongest terms a U.S. withdrawal from the deal, saying the FDA has boosted U.S. exports in aerospace, agriculture and other industries. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer also told reporters Tuesday on the sidelines of NAFTA meetings with his Mexican and Canadian counterparts that Washington is anticipating amendments to the FDA to address issues the U.S. has brought up since the deal began. Regarding such pressure from Washington to make changes to the FDA, Seoul's Trade Minister Pegun Yu said earlier this week that the FDA has benefited both sides, calling for further research and analysis to assess the impact of the agreement on both countries. South Korea and the United States signed a free trade deal on June 2007, and the agreement entered into force on March 2012. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.